Your thumbnail is the most important part of getting people to click on your video. You need to get people's attention and get them to click because if they don't click, all that work that you put into that video is wasted. And the number one thing that gets people to click is the thumbnail. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to very simply create thumbnails that pop using software that you can get for free. And then I'll show you our top three performing thumbnails so that you can see exactly what's working right now. All right, let's rock. Now, the very first step in creating a great thumbnail comes in putting some thought into it when you're just starting to plan your video. And this will allow you to grab some really good photos when you're actually doing your shooting session. So you wanna have a few ideas on hand so that you can grab like five to 10 pictures when you are shooting your video. When in doubt, more is better. Get more pictures. Nothing is worse than sitting down to create your thumbnail and then to realize that you don't exactly have the picture that you need, especially when you've already taken all this fancy dancy makeup off and you're your normal hot mess self again. Now, in general, you want to keep your thumbnails simple. Avoid a bunch of clutter. Now, we're going to use a program called Canva because it's very simple to use and you can use it for 100% free. Now let's dive right into Canva where I'm gonna walk you through how to create a beautiful thumbnail that pops for free. So once you get to Canva, and the link again is in the description of this video, click on create a design. Once you do that, let's just do custom dimensions because here's a the problem. They do have an option like a done for you for thumbnails, but it's not for high definition and that's not gonna be helpful for you. You want it to be the high definition dimensions, which is 1920, by 1080. Once you plot that in, click create a design and ta-da. Now we have a blank canvas to work with. Now, one really helpful thing with how Canva works is that it stores all of your old stuff. So in the uploads, I've got like a bajillion pictures in here that I've used for all kinds of things. So I really don't need to take pictures necessarily when I'm getting ready to do another thumbnail or if I want to do a split test or, you know, put a new thumbnail on an old video, I can just work with what I already have. But I'm going to show you exactly how you can do this from scratch. And then moving forward, you can actually just make a copy of your first one and just edit it each time you do it. So you don't have to even put in the custom dimensions if you don't want to. Now, the first step is to grab the picture that you've taken for your thumbnail and drag it and drop it right over here into your uploads. And it's gonna take a minute to load with that blue progress bar. Now I'll show you actually two variations of this. First, I'm gonna grab one. I got a good one of Todd down here. So with this, I wanna keep this background. I like the background. And I don't wanna worry about removing the background at all. And Cause you can do that. You can do that with Canva if you upgrade to the Premiere, or you can do it with other programs like Clippy Magic or other stuff. So you can do that. But if you don't wanna deal with any of that, this is the easiest way to do it. You just move this around with your mouse and you adjust the size using these corner circles right here. So in general, you want faces nice and big. Remember, this is gonna be shrunk down to mobile for most people. And the whites of the eyes, smiles are all beautiful things to have in your thumbnails. Now, so this is how you would do it if you're gonna keep the background of the image. How do you delete something if you don't want it? Well, you just make sure you have it highlighted. You can see this blue line showing that it's highlighted and I hit the trash <laughs> and now it's gone. So instead, I'm gonna show you how to do it a little more advanced if you want to. I'm grabbing the new image that I just uploaded here. Now, you can put this through Clipping Magic. There's a bunch of apps on your phone. You can do this a bunch of different ways, but I'm gonna show you the simplest way. And honestly, the only reason I think that it's worth upgrading to the paid version of Canva is this really handy dandy feature because it'll take care of all of it for you. But if you highlight the image itself, you see it's in blue, meaning it highlighted. Then I'm gonna hit effects and I'm gonna use this awesome little button here, background remover. And you give it a second, but it works really well with hair, which I can appreciate because my hair is always crazy. And it does actually really well with removing the background with hair involved, which I like. So now I have total flexibility with this, which is awesome. I am going to crop this image because you see I have all this, it's clear, but it's still part of the picture somehow. So I'm gonna crop this, just grabbing these ends and pulling them in. And this will just make the image more manageable for me to move around appropriately. So I'm pointing this direction. 
I'm probably going to flip this actually. So you can come up here to flip. I'm going to flip this horizontally because I want my words on this side. People read left to right, so I think that's probably a good practice. Make this nice and big, probably not that big. So there, now we have this. Now, a simple thing you can do, if you have any pictures of a texture or a background that you like, you can throw that in as your background image. And I do have that, so I'll show you what that looks like. So say you had a blank wall or something that you didn't want, you had something like this you wanted as your background. Just drag this and slide it in, and then it'll actually become the background of the image. So you can do this that way. You can adjust, you can put some filters. They have preset filters. Adjust however you would like. Before we go any further, I think I'm gonna adjust this image just a little bit. They do have some statistics that show that for thumbnails, decreasing the blur, making a little, just a little hair more sharp is a good thing. Increasing the saturation and the contrast just a little, a little bit is also a good thing. And I think this really comes down to the fact that this is all going to be seen on mobile a lot more than anything else. So you can drag these across if you want. You can also just type. So if you want to say 15, 15, negative, negative eight, do something, see what this looks like there. Just, it's odd. I, it's just how it works, but increasing that sharpness just a little bit. Yeah, I think I like that. Ooh, my lipstick really looks good. <laughs> All right. Now, if you're using something like a cell phone or some other sort of object, you can layer that on here. So say like, here's our logo, you know, all you can add as many images to this as you want. So if you're talking about, you know, a recipe in an Instapot, you could throw an Instapot up here or do whatever you wanted. I'm going to delete this though. And I think we're going to go right to our text. So over on the left here, they have an option for text. Click over on that and just grab this for a heading. Let's just say create. Now I'm going to show you sort of a trick You grab that. I'm going to make it bigger. And I like to really have total flexibility. So I do each word separate. Theoretically, you could have all of these uh, the same as well. Now we can go ahead and change the font here. If you double click, highlight what you want, they have a ton of fonts. And if you see this little crown, it means that because I'm a premium member, I can get it for free. You'd have to pay if you were not a premium, but without premium, there's still a ton of fonts. I think my go-to, I like something that's very easy to see at just a glance. So Antonio Bold is kind of my go-to for everything. So I'll take that and I'm actually gonna make it even bolder. Probably gonna make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm gonna duplicate it. So I don't have to go through this entire process for the next word. I'm gonna do create custom. I'll duplicate again, thumbnails. I could do it all in one text box if I wanted, but I just want a little more flexibility to adjust the spacing and where how I want my words. So that's why I didn't do that. So I want to probably do something fun like this ish. And then I'm going to make it bigger though. Cause remember a lot of people are going to see this from mobile. So I want it to be nice and easy to read. Now this isn't it. So if you're like, ah, this is a crappy thumbnail. Yes, it is. I wouldn't leave this like this. I'm just getting it started. It's very, very flexible and very user friendly. Once you play with this, probably just one time guys, you're going to be a pro at Canva. I'm lining it up. You can kind of see the lines show up when you're in line with what you want. So create custom thumbnails. Now I am going to make those words pop quite a bit more still. So hold with me. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you how to add an element. Now I use these all the time. So as you can tell, I got some recently used ones, but here you can actually look up YouTube. So since this is about YouTube thumbnails, I'm going to click on this and I'm going to grab one of these YouTube icons so that when you see this, you know that I'm talking about YouTube. So I'm dra dragging it around. I can change the size. You can see this little swervy thing. I can tilt it. I can do all kinds of stuff. I'll probably leave this at the correct angle. Okay. So I want to make these words pop. So what I want to do is actually add something behind them so they can stand out a bit more. Under shapes, this is my go-to shape right here. I use this all the time. So here I'm going to adjust it and I'm going to make it small. So it's a rectangle 
and okay so this is not the color that I want so hold with me guys but I just want to get everything kind of lined up and you see my lines showing that I'm centered which is good kind of tilt it and I want to keep it all together so I'm going to tilt this a little bit all right now I'm going to change my colors so why don't we do black and white that always pops quite a bit so we'll do this black I'm going to change the text to white change the text to white so create custom and then let's do the opposite for thumbnails so I'm going to grab this I want to duplicate this rectangle grab the rectangle and I'm going to duplicate that now let's make that just white for now so I can see what's going on and let's make it square so I can line it up there we go now where's the text okay it's hidden so I have to move it backwards so up here is an option for position so I can move it backwards so it goes behind that other layer and that's exactly what I want to do I'm moving my arrows on my arrow key if ever I have just a small adjust adjustment in positioning I just use my arrow keys it's a lot more precise than using my mouse now I'm going to highlight both of these together and I'm going to tilt them a little bit the other way. Looking at this, I feel like I want to make this just a little bit brighter as well. Play with this just a bit. There we go. So that I'm happier with. So increase the brightness a bit more. When you're looking at brightness, contrast, saturation, all this stuff, one good thing that you can look at is kind of keep an eye on your teeth and your eyes and what helps them be whiter. <laughs> it's a good gauge as you're doing it, what helps them pop more. Saturation, you do want to increase a little bit, but make sure you don't turn into a cheese puff. It can make you kind of orangey looking. But I am happy. I think this is a poppin' thumbnail. I could do very well. So here we go. Here is our custom thumbnail. And now that your thumbnail is all ready to go, you want to download it here with this little button. Now, what is, works best for YouTube, grab it as a JPEG and then just change the quality up to high quality. Hit download. And now you are downloading the image. All right, you ready to cheat a little bit? <laughs> you want to see what's working best for us right now so that you can get a little inspiration for your own thumbnails? Well, here are our very top performing thumbnails. Top performing as in CTR or click-through rate. The percentage of people that are shown the thumbnail, what percentage actually clicks? You want to know this for all of your videos, keep an eye on it and get it as high as possible. Now, our very highest performing CTR or click-through rate is for a work from home video where I teach somebody how to make $35 an hour. And if you look at this thumbnail, it's very bold, very bright colors, and there's very few words on it. It very quickly, in a short glance, gives you exactly the information you need to know what's coming in that video. And it's also enticing, like $35 an hour. What could I do from home for $35 an hour? What is this about? Like it would get your attention enough to actually read the title and decide if you want to watch the video. Now, because of that, it has a CTR rate of 13.5%. Yay! So it's done really well. And those are the reasons why keeping it simple, having it bold and enticing. Now, our second best performing thumbnail kind of bends the rules a little bit because there's more text on this than I would actually prefer. If I was to redo this thumbnail today, I would simplify it even more. However, it's still doing really good at 10.4% CTR. Now, part of that is having the bright blue stand out for the sexiest or hottest word that wants to grab people's attention. And because when people are searching for Instagram, there's not a lot of bright, vibrant blue that comes out. It's more pinks and purples that are going to show up in their search results. So this can grab their attention a bit more. On top of that, it's just really enticing. Best Instagram automation apps for followers. It's something people really want to know about. It's sexy. It sounds good. People want to know the information behind it, so they click on it. Tons of curiosity, promised value that people want to know more about. And our third top performing thumbnail is at 10.2%. Again, this is another Instagram video talking about Instagram follow limits. It is very few words. It's using that bright blue color to stand out against all of the Instagram pinks. And it's something that people People actually want to know. It's enticing. It's sexy, if you will. People want to know this information. They'll easily understand what this video is offering them when they're scrolling through their search results. And because of that, it's got a great CTR. Now, if you want to succeed on YouTube, you need to create professional level videos, but you can do that with only a cell phone. Watch the video on the upper right corner of your screen, top link of the description. Watch that next to learn how. I'll see you soon.